What's up guys, welcome to Maverick Overland Adventure. So I'm out here on the beach today with the Maverick and I actually just got done filming a pretty sweet fishing video for my other channel, CKW Outdoors. Um, we landed a huge Jack Creval off the beach. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Come on buddy, come on, come on, come on. Yes, dude. Yes. It was pretty sick. So if you guys want to check that out, um, go check out the link in the description to my other channel. That full video will be on there. Um, but I wanted to stop real quick on my way out and uh, make a quick video for you guys here on Maverick Overland Adventures um, pertaining to the beach cart that I use and carry in the back of my Maverick. Um, about a week ago, I posted some pictures of the cart in the bed of the truck on some various like Facebook forums, and I actually had several of you guys reach out um, asking for like closer pictures showing you the beach cart in the bed of the truck. And then I had a bunch of people curious about my setup and how I actually set up my cart um, and, and kind of store or, or carry all this stuff. Um, on my way out to the beach. So I'm gonna just kind of walk you guys through this real quick, show you guys what I got going on here, and uh, hopefully it'll be helpful information for someone out there. So first off, this is the Angler's Fishing Mate uh, Senior Cart. So this is the big one that they make. Um, I've got the balloon beach tires on here so you can go um, over the sand without having to drag it too hard. A pretty sweet cart. Uh, these are about 41 inches long, give or take a little bit. So in the back of the, the Maverick here, um, actually, quite a bit of room it's pretty spacious there's probably about six inches right here um, between front and back which i think is perfect to be honest with you guys because it kind of prevents it from from moving too far in the bed um, but i have the bed liner so with the weight of the the ice and the cooler and, and all my gear and everything um the foot that's down here on the front actually keeps it from sliding around anyway so it's really not that big a deal um, but there's plenty of room uh, forward and backwards for for the extra large uh, senior cart fit and then a uh, little side view here so typically um, i'll push this all the way up to the right side of my truck uh, with the wheel against the uh, the fender in there and you can see how much room is there i mean that's perfect for throwing like uh you know some beach chairs or your umbrella or whatever you want to put in that spot and then on the other side over here um, there's a lot more room so between the wheel and the, the fender there there's probably like eight to ten inches um, and that's typically the area that I will secure my surf rod. So I've got a 10 foot and a 12 foot hanging out the back of the Maverick. And actually I'll, I'll step back just so you guys can kind of see. So the 12 foot surf rod is the one that's right here, obviously, and that's the 10 foot. Um, so you can see that the, the 12 foot considerably, uh, you know, sticks out of the back of the truck, but it's not really an issue. Um, technically you should probably put a flag on it <laughs> to be legal, but I'm not really worried about it. Um, but I will show you guys how I have these secured too. So uh, typically what I'll do is I've got this bungee cord that I actually stole from my buddy Chris uh, last time we hauled his kayak in the truck and uh, I'll put it on the front tie down right here and uh, do a couple wraps around my surf rods and then I'll hook it to the back tie down. Um, and that keeps these things perfectly secure. I drive with them hanging out the back just like that with that bungee cord holding them. I never have any problems even going over like bumps and stuff. Uh, they stay right where they're supposed to. Looking underneath the beach cart here. So these sit uh, probably like eight inches off of the ground with those uh, balloon tires on. So I'll typically, like if I've got beach chairs or something, I'll slide those under here rather than have them sitting on the side. Um, I'll slide our beach umbrella under there. Um, it, you know, whatever else, like small and long. Um, rod holders, you can slide under there perfect. And, and that usually works out pretty good. I'm gonna close the bed up here. Set those back down. Um, also, so the handles on, on these are adjustable. So I've got mine on uh, the lowest setting that it'll go because I'm a fairly short dude. And uh, you can see that there's probably like five to six inches right here that that sits over the bed of the Maverick, which is cool because the, the Maverick's bed is actually fairly deep compared to some other trucks um, or, you know, utes out there, UTEs. Um, so it's, it's kind of cool that with how deep the bed is, even on the lowest setting, that handle still has plenty of room there. Coming to the back here of the cart, uh, cause I, I did have uh, several of you guys not only asking to, to see dimensions of the cart in the bed, uh, but also asking like how I actually have mine set up. So um, these are pretty sweet. I showed you guys the balloon tires already. Um, these have a measuring tape that runs up to like 30 inches on the side. So that's cool for like, you know, pompano, some redfish, uh, if they're smaller than 30 inches and, and stuff like that spanish mackerel speckled trout um i also have the uh like the the net 
kind of deal. I don't know what you kind of what, what you want to call it, but it's like a canvas, like weatherproof, uh, you know, basket that goes in there. So that's cool. Um, it keeps everything nice and secure, so you don't have stuff falling out through the rails. And then uh, the senior card is the big one. So this has eight rod holders total. There's four on the back, um, and there's four on the front. And then of course there's the uh, the handle uh, spot right there. And then there's also a spot on the back here. Um, that you can put stuff. They make like a uh, like a uh, fishing seat, like a, a beach chair holder that you can kind of hang those on and, and a couple other accessories. Um, but typically what I'll do is uh, when I get to a spot, I'll just, I'll have the cart loaded up like this. So I'll have my rod holders in it if I only have a couple of them. Um, the PVC rod holders that you can buy at like most sporting goods stores fit perfectly lengthwise in this one. Um, I'll have my tackle bag and I'll usually put my camera gear bag right here that, that rides inside the cab. Um, I've got the cooler and this is actually the, uh, the 28 quart igloo cooler that you can get from Walmart or some other, you know, sporting goods stores and that kind of thing. Um, and this cooler fits perfectly sideways in this cart, which is awesome. So I'll have all that stuff just riding in here on my way to the beach. Um, and then I transport um, my casting rod. So I'll usually have like two or three casting rods with me. Um, like the one that we caught the Jack Creval on uh, this morning, I'll have one set up for like Spanish mackerel and then like a short rod for uh, like Pompano rig or something. So I'll just transport those standing up. Those are all like seven foot, seven foot six rods. Um, so height wise, there's no issue there. So I'll have this just loaded um, exactly like you see it. And then when I get to the spot, I'll drop the gate, pull the cart out, uh, take the surf rods off the clip, um, put those in those back rod holders and then throw my camera bag in and uh, that's it. So nice and easy guys. So hopefully um, you found that interesting. Oh, one more thing I forgot too. Um, this also has the cutting board and uh, the basket. So if you're doing like uh, pompano fishing, uh, you can use the basket for like your sand fleas. Uh, you can put like shrimp in there if you really want to. It comes out so you can clean it. So that's a really nice touch. And then you've got the cutting board for uh, uh, cutting up bait, cutting up fish bites. Uh, whatever so that's pretty much all i got for you guys um hopefully for those of you that that were asking about my beach fishing setup and and you know what i take with me and how i have it set up um and then also how i transport all of it in the back of the maverick hopefully that answered all the questions if it didn't let me know down in the comments uh you know what more you guys want to see what you want to know um any other topics about the maverick anything to do with the truck doesn't matter let me know i'll do a video on it if you want me to take measurements of something um if you want to see like the back seat or you know the storage or whatever it is let me know um, you can always hit me up on the maverick overland adventures facebook page as well you can send me a message or just comment on there doesn't matter and uh, i will always do my best to answer your guys questions so i hope that helped you out i hope you enjoyed it um, if you're not subscribed already consider doing so there's going to be a lot more informational content like this about the maverick that's going to be useful to a lot of people and then uh, once we get the overland build done and actually have the rooftop tent and everything else going on on here we're going to take this thing out and do some sick camping trips uh, we're going to do some like fishing camping some beach camping um, cooking out of the back of the truck it's gonna be a good time guys so if you don't want to miss that make sure you hit the subscribe button um, hit the like on this video leave me a comment let me know what you think if you liked it or not and uh, as always thank you so much we'll see you on the next one guys